Tip number 65. If you are not sure if put something into your schematic, add it there. And as usually, I'm going to explain what I mean. So, many times when you are drawing a schematic, you may uh, go into situation when uh, you would like to maybe add something new, what was not originally in the specification, or you come up with some ideas which you would like to use in your schematic to make it better. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm going to use an example because that's always the simplest way to explain things. So let's say I'm drawing this uh, 30 pages schematic with processor and I come up with the idea placing a temperature sensor somewhere close to the processor so we can read the uh, heatsink temperature. Normally what uh, you may need to do you may need to describe this situation and make this suggestion about adding this temperature sensor. You may need to uh, write an email to your boss or to your customer to ask them for a kind of approval if you can use this on your board. And uh, very often you need to wait uh, for days or even for weeks to get this kind of simple answer. Yeah? Yes, use the temperature sensor on the board, it's fine. The thing is, uh, sometimes this can really block uh, the you know, development or adding some new peripherals into your schematic because, uh, for example, the chip is going to share bus with other interfaces and you cannot finish the other interfaces because you need to know what is the decision about the uh, peripheral which you would like to add. And for days or for weeks you have to wait, you cannot continue, you are stuck. Uh, you can do maybe some other things but you are stuck with this uh, peripheral, with this interface. And it can uh, you know, if you have a couple of these kind of decisions which uh, you need to wait for, is it's really slowing down the schematic design process. Sometimes it's really frustrating, like you are creating schematic which you can make in weeks and it takes months just because you have to keep asking other people Shall I put there or please can I put this here? Yeah. Okay, it's so, so difficult sometimes. So what we normally do, and I found it very, very, very useful, don't ask. Okay, just put it there. If you think like this temperature sensor is going to be really useful under the processor, just put it into your schematic that's it and then you can continue and doing all the other chips on the i square c to bus and put it's not stopping you yeah then you come up with other idea place that humidity sensor okay put it into your schematic every time when you come up with something new and you start thinking like shall i put it into schematic or not just put it there many times it's so simple yeah why to wait a week for the decision if put their humidity sensor it's just one chip and one capacitor just put it there it doesn't mean it's going to be in the final board okay i'm going to explain but for schematic development process it's it just speeds it up it's so useful just put it there then basically when you finish your schematic what uh, you may want to do is uh, you import all the components into your PCB and uh, then you sit down with your boss or you sit down with your customer and then you make the decision what everything is going to stay and what everything is going to be removed from the schematic. I know it may look like you, you know, uh, you done additional work because you created this humidity chip and now you are going to remove it or delete it. It's, you know, 
Sometimes it happens. Sometimes you remove it. Many times you just keep it there. Many times uh, the board is uh, so large that you can actually fit there almost everything what you come up with. And uh, you just, uh, you know, during production, if they don't want to use it, during production, they just do not fit the component. They just do not fit the humidity sensor. So it doesn't cost your customer anything. It just uh, space on the PCB. If uh, your project is very space limited, so if the board uh, board size is limited and there is no space for all the components from your schematic, then you you make the decision together with your customer, with your boss, what is going to be removed and what is going to stay. But it's only then, one time you sit down together, one time you go through the list of the peripherals or you go through the schematic and in this one time you decide about everything. You don't need to keep sending emails and waiting for days or weeks to get simple answers. I'm pretty sure you know what I mean. Tip number 65. If you are not sure, if put something into your schematic, add it there. Why? It will speed up development process. You can always remove it later.